Many of us are feeling lost because we're not able to go to church. We're not able to go to the temple of God and worship. Today, I want us to think a little bit more about the temple. How do we see the temple of God? The temple of God is not a building. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. In Acts 7.48, the Word of God says, The Most High God doesn't live in temples made with hands. In 1 Corinthians 3.16, it says, Don't you realize that all of you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God lives in you? In 1 Corinthians 6.19, the Word of God says that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Each of us is the temple of God. Every believer is the temple of God. And the Holy Spirit lives in us. God lives in us. We go to church because God tells us that to forsake the fellowship of the saints. There's an abundant blessing in going to church for the saints to get together and go into the house of God where we can praise Him together, where we can worship Him together. It offers a sweet-smelling aroma to God. God has also organized his people and he has put the fivefold ministry. So there's the apostle, there's the prophet, there's the evangelist, there's the teacher, and there's the pastor. And they are there for the edifying of the body, for the building of the church, that they would build us up. And we have come to rely so much on them that sometimes we forget that the Holy Spirit lives in us as well, that we are also the temple of God, that we are carrying the glory of God. We also carry the presence of God and that we also have a work to do. Because when we go into the church and we only look at the pastor, sometimes we feel that the pastor is the one who should carry the load. The pastor is the one who should do all the work. The pastor is the one who's responsible for souls. But we are the temple of God. We are the people, we are the called out ones. And God wants us to experience Him. God wants us to know Him in a deep and a special way so that as we go about our business, we will reflect the love of God. We will reflect the anointing of God. We will reflect the glory of God and people will be drawn to God through us, okay? The Bible says that we are the salt of the earth. We, the people, are the salt of the earth and that we shouldn't lose our flavor. And when we only depend on going into a physical building to have that anointing, to feel the presence of God, we're limiting God to only Sunday mornings. And God is calling his people right now, okay, wherever you are in your homes, because right now we can't even go to church, to start to praise him and start to call on the name of Jesus so that his presence can be made manifest and that you can feel his glory and become even more equipped and even more empowered that we can pick up the word of God for ourselves and we're able to read it and we ask the Holy Spirit to teach us and to show us things in it. The Bible says that he will show us things that we do not know, that the Holy Spirit is our teacher. When Jesus was going up to heaven, he said, I'm not leaving you orphan. I am leaving you with the Holy Spirit. So it's in fact important that I go because when I go then the Holy Spirit will be in all of you whereas if I'm here physically I'm in one place at a time but because I'm going the Holy Spirit will be everywhere and he will teach you and he will show you things so we need to take this time of being in our homes and seek God and seek his presence and seek his will and seek our place in the kingdom because we're not called to be a church that will just sit on the benches in a building, but we are called to be a living church, okay? A church that is moving, a church that is manifesting throughout the world. When Jesus was on this earth, he wasn't only in the synagogue, okay? Jesus was living among people, but he was declaring the word of the Lord. He was doing the will of the Lord. He was in the world, but he was still not of the world. So even though he he mixed with other people, okay, he still 
proclaim the gospel of God. And so that is what we have to do. We have to seek God in this time. We have to get ready because after this time of stillness, God has a work for each and every one of us. And so let's search the scriptures. Let's seek the face of God. Let's talk to the Holy Spirit in this time so that we will be built up and ready to fulfill our purpose. God loves you and you are blessed.